Welcome everyone, I'm Ati the Hero and today our topic of discussion is the 2.5D action adventure styled game Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. The game was developed by Climax Studios and published by Ubisoft. The game uses Unreal Engine 3 and was made for Windows, PS4, PS Vita and Xbox One. The game came out in April 2015. And this game is a part of a trilogy and was the first game released in said trilogy. The game is set after the short film Assassin's Creed Embers. You are Shao Jun, the last member of the Chinese Brotherhood. Having been trained by Ezio Auditore in Embers, the once concubine Shao Jun returns to her country to try and have her revenge on the Eight Tigers, the Templar group responsible for the Chinese Brotherhood's decay. Whilst securing the box Ezio gave her, This game is linear. For comparisons, I'd bring up the original 2D Prince of Persia's and even more, Mark of the Ninja. The game is centered around stealth, so fighting isn't the best thing, but it's still quite easy to understand and use. The levels are cut into parts that go from checkpoint to checkpoint. Once passing these, you get rated on your performance. To elaborate on this, there's three types of a player you can be, and three levels of ranks you can get in these. You can be a warrior, which is quite self-explanatory, an assassin, who uses stealth to lure people and strike them with a final blow, and a ghost, who plays in such a manner that their blade only meets the target. Among these, you can get bronze, silver and gold rankings. All of these are so that you may get the maximum amount of points in the level. Getting a certain amount of points can grant you different upgrades to make your job easier. Upgrades such as more health and more ammo for certain tools. And now that we're at tools, you have the wide array of three tools. Four if you can't listen. You have firecrackers, kunai, and some uh, bombs, I think. And you also have the biggest skill Arno didn't possess. Being good. Being able to whistle. The game's difficulty is unchangeable. You do, however, unlock New Game Plus and New Game Plus Hard difficulties. The graphics do their job, their job being reminding us of old Chinese paintings. This is especially true for cutscenes. His body is still warm. The assassin cannot be far. Shall we search the docks, Master Chiu Chiu? The assassins claim they protect the innocents. Let us show them that their actions have consequences. Arrest everyone! Burn all the ships to ashes and find me the assassin! As is the norm for Assassin's Creed, the NPCs speak the dialect of the setting, Chinese in this case. Though, more important characters still speak English with an accent. The music fits the setting and the type of game. I liked how they had the time to incorporate parts of Assassin's Creed 2's soundtrack. Well then, let's summarize. If we look at this game like it's not part of the series, then it is a retro stealth platformer with an interesting art style and setting, which borrowed a good amount of ideas from Mark of the Ninja. If I look at the game as a part of the Assassin's Creed series, well, it won't be anyone's new AC2, but considering that it's a spin off, it's alright. But then, what about the score? Well, I believe it is fair if I say that this game deserves 7 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this video, and with that, Goodbye.